Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be having a go at Phoenix. Um, her deck looks really cool. She's got a lot of damage and a lot of uh, overpower when she gets into her raging kind of Phoenix mode, whatever it's called. Um, and it looks really interesting, but she also has downsides to this as well. So it's got a really big risk reward uh, factor on it. So looking forward to trying her out. I've also got Colossus, Shadow Cat and Cyclops next to me. So we're going to play through all of them and see which one we want to play for the campaign. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any tips or specific decks or strategies for Phoenix. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps me out. Um, and if you want to know any more, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Let's get this one played. Can't wait. Okay, hi guys. Welcome to the video. Um, we're going to play as Phoenix. Um, she's got 9 health. And at the minute, Rhino's got 14. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. I try and keep them fairly close so they're visible she's got a really cool setup and she's got an upgrade that you get straight away called the phoenix force and it starts in restrained and you get four counters on it for general uh, counters and if you use them you flip them over and then she flips the unleashed form which can give her more power but some also some negatives um, every time you do a recovery with jean gray she gets an extra counter on here so that can maybe help you from having to flip over to the unleashed side but Sometimes maybe you might need that to do the extra damage that is uh, essential to kill off a baddie or try and get through the the person you're fighting. Um, I just need to, I've just shuffled the cards quite a lot, I just need to shuffle this obligation into Rhino's deck and then we can start having a battle and see how she does. So Rhino of course starts on 14 health this time and then he goes up to 16 health next. I'm only doing basic with level 1, level 2 Rhino. So no expert mode, just to see how Phoenix plays and get used to the deck. Um, I try and speak through what I'm trying to learn as I go, and then we'll see what she's like. She looks really cool, and she looks really interesting. So I'm actually quite excited to start off as her and see what she's like. I'm going to put the deck over there so you can kind of have a discard pile for Rhino if I need it. And then hopefully I'll be able to play as many cards as I can here with the Phoenix deck. If I need to, I'll zoom out a bit or move the cards a little bit so it looks better on the screen. So first hand, we, she's got a six card, uh, six hand size on this side, and she's only got a five on that side. So that's really good already. So our first six cards are Ally Marvel Girl, Mutant Peacekeepers. I've got two of those. Mind Control Upgrade and the Phoenix Suit and Mutant Peacekeepers again. So might not have shuffled that as brilliant as I would have liked, but Rachel Summers looks really cool as an ally. She's got... When Marvel Girl attacks a minion, you remove X threat from the main scheme, where X is the minion's pre printed scheme. So she could be really useful if he gets any minions out. The Mutant Peacekeepers play only if you have X-Men trait, and it says you can exhaust your hero on any number of X-Men allies. Remove X threat from among schemes in play, where X is the total threat of those characters. And this mind control upgrade is four cost. You can attach it to an elite minion, take control of that minion, and treat it as a controlled ally. Unfortunately, a got no minions out right now and i don't think he's got a ton of minions in the deck so i don't think it's going to be a great card so I'm, at the minute i'm thinking of scrapping these three uh four even the phoenix suit says she gains the aerial trait while you have restrained trait you get steady which means you take two um cards to be either stunned or confused which is great and while you have unleashed trait you gain one retaliate so that's a great upgrade to have and i don't think marvel girl is going to be necessary right now so i'm going to try and get some immediate benefits and i'm going to mulligan all five of those cards and see what else i get um so we've got one two three four five six Let's move that over a bit so we got swift retribution which is attack uh uh the villain schemes deal four damage to the villain so he gets the scheme but i get to do four damage to him um we've got phoenix firebird event Either remove one Phoenix counter from the Phoenix Force and ready Phoenix, or place two power counters on Phoenix Force. So that sounds quite good. Um, we've also got an upgrade, a psionic te telekinetic, telekinetic shield. Attached to a friendly character. When attached character will take damage, you put five of it here instead. And once it's hit five, it's then gone. Telepathic trickery. Uh, remove four threat from a scheme if you have unleashed trait. Stun and confuse the enemy as well. We've got no threat at the minute. Cerebro is a support. Play only if you have X-Men. Exhaust Cerebro, search the top five cards you your deck for an X-Men ally. 
if you it says search your whole deck instead if you control a psionic character and add that ally to your hand so you can pay for that and get an ally into hand which is quite good uh, i may end up doing that in a minute to see what i can get uh, but i don't really need to thwart so i can spend that this seems quite good but i don't have any uh characters i can attach it to can't attach it to yourself i don't think uh, it says to a friendly character so it's got to be someone else i think uh placing two counters on the phoenix force could be good or you could i could be readier and do an attack and readier and then getting him to scheme and attack in for four damage maybe not too bad but i wouldn't mind having the aerial trait and when well, you have the restraint trait you get steady so this upgrade seems really good so i'm going to try and get this upgrade out as well um i'm not sure i want to do damage to the enemy itself the support also seems quite good so if we could get these out and then keep one of the other cards, maybe for a bit later. Potentially this Phoenix Firebird to help me stay in control. Um, that would allow me to do some stuff. Or I could attack for 4 damage if it's desperate, if I need it. To try and just take him down quicker. Um, I think this Firebird is really good. So I'm going to take that. And keep, the, keep that in my hand for next round. And then I'm going to pay these three to do these upgrades and then the other stuff so i get better strength and her up straight away so she's got uh, restrained right now and she's aerial and i've got while you have unleashed trait you gain retaliate so when i flip this over i'll get retaliate and then i want the support of cerebro as well so that will allow me to search the top five cards of my deck and put an ally into my hand so i could potentially do that now I could then let me look through the top five cards of my deck, or my whole deck because I've got Psionic. Um, I don't know why that card's upside down. So I can find an ally. Um, uh, no, upgrade, event, upgrade, event, event. What's that? Uh, event, 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 support. Oh my god. I haven't got anything. I should have. Whole deck instead, and add that ally to your hand. If I look for a whole deck, then you should get to put it back, I assume. Because I haven't seen an ally yet. I've had one ally out at the start. And I still haven't come across one yet, so that should be a storm. She costs five to get out, though. Reduce it, but if you're this X Men, so it be four. When storm thwarts a scheme, you remove two threat from that scheme to another scheme. So she looks alright, and she'll do a total of only six damage. I don't think she's that good. I don't want that ally. Cyclops maybe, he looks cool. So he takes 3 damage and he can do about 6 damage himself. After he enters play you force 2 power counters on Phoenix Force. And when Cyclops leaves you lose the 2. So he could be cool to have, I think I'm going to have him. Um, and actually thinking about it, I'm just going to leave him to take Storm out. I'm going to spend Storm to get the, to be able to do this Phoenix thing now. So I think that just goes back like that. It says look through the deck. It doesn't say doesn't say that you shuffle. Oh, it does say shuffle. And add that to add it to your hand, then shuffle. So shuffle, you'll put all your cards back into the deck and shuffle them all. So that's quite handy. A nice shuffle. I'm going to spend Storm in a second to do the Phoenix power. But I want to flip Jean Grey over. She gets only one attack to start with. But obviously if you're in the... Unleashed form, she gets three attack. So I'm thinking I need to get to that maybe and sort it out. Because otherwise I haven't got a lot of attack with her. Um, and I don't have any other allies who are good at attacking. So I've done three where it's exhausted. Um, I'm going to spend Storm to do the Phoenix Firebird event. Can either remove a power from it or place two counters on Phoenix Force. I kind of want to remove a power thing, I think. Try and drop her down to Unleashed so she can do some more damage. If I attack now, I'm doing one damage. Um, which knocks Rhino down to 13. Which is not a lot. Um, she seems quite weak in that respect. So I should have maybe tried to get her allies out. So there's a learning curve for me straight away if I either tried to get Storm or something else I could have done some more attack um, I didn't try and do that so kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit there 
So she'll withdraw back up to five cards. So we've got <clears throat> oh, we've got Marvel Girl, we've got Upgrade, Attached to an X-Men Ally, Max One Training Ally, Upgrade Per Ally. They get plus one thought and plus two hit points. Um, so I could attach that to Marvel Girl if I can get them all out. This is a Rise from the Ashes. It's an interrupt when you would be defeated. Remove this card from the game. Ready your identity and restore it to its printed hit point value instead. Remove each power counter from Phoenix Force. So this will change you into your unleashed form when you're about to die. Then you'll be on full on attack, which is quite cool, but it costs three. Um, but it is a good card to have. Passion for Justice. This is a wild resource when you spend it to thwart an event. That event removes one extra threat. And then you've got um, a double energy, which is nice. So that's going to help me be able to maybe pay, get both of these things out if I can get this out and then give Marvel Girl plus one thwart and plus two hit points. That could be really useful. Um, the main scheme is plus one for each hero on it. Um, overall value, it should be 7 plus 1 for every, uh, I'll actually should have started with 1 on it, and it's 7 per hero. So, it can only take another 6 more. At the start of his round, he will threat for 1, he'll scheme for 1. Then he will attack me using a boost card. The boost value is nothing, so that's nice. And then I get a face down card but obviously I can just flip it up. It says treachery I'm tough. When revealed give Rhino a tough card. If he's already got one it gets surged but he hasn't got one so he is now tough. So he cannot take damage. Next attack we'll get rid of the toughness card instead. I thought that should have been flipped. And he did two damage to me. So he's knocking me down to seven. I want to get Marvel Girl out because she's going to be able to do some damage. So I'm going to try and get her out next and then give her this. So if I pay all of these cards, that gives me four resources. Um, to pay for the upgrade here, which I think is my last upgrade I'm allowed to. Oh no, I put it on her. And whenever she removes X threat from a main scheme where X is the minions printed. Scheme. What? Interrupt. Oh, attack. When Marvel Girl attacks a minion, remove X threat from the main scheme where X is the minion's threat uh, scheme, even. So she only does one attack, but she's now got five health and she's worth uh, three thwart. So that's quite good. Um, the one attack's not massive, but it'll help, I guess. But I might as well. It doesn't really matter which way I do it with Phoenix or with Marvel Girl. If I exhaust her to do, take these off, then I attack for one with this. The toughness will go away and I just bang my head on the camera. Uh, there we go. So, uh, that's not done a lot. It hasn't really helped me at all. I uh, need to draw back to five. One, two, three, four, five. Could have done with a better damager. Uh, Swift Retribution. Mission Training, Mutant Peacekeepers, and Psychic Manipulation. They're all Justice cards. I've got Banshee, an ally, who does two attack. Or Thwart for two, and after Banshee thwarts, you can confuse a minion. There's no minions out yet, so it's not too bad, but I might have to spend all four of them to get him out to do some damage. This is a damage. The villain schemes and the, you know, deals four, you deal four damage to him. So I could do that to get four damage on him. But Banshee overall is going to give us six attack i should have saved this card to give him more health and then he could have got 10 attack on him um this one attached to ally gets plus one thwart and plus two hit points oh so i could upgrade him with that later but i can't because i need to spend all four of these to get him out mutant peacekeepers again where if you exhaust your hero and any number of x-men allies you remove x threat from among the schemes where x is the total thwart of those characters psychic manipulation when the villain schemes this action removes threat instead of placing it so that's quite good, but he's not a massive schemer, so it's between doing this and doing a little bit of other stuff, which I can't really do. I've got to get Banshee out, so I'm going to spend all four of those cards to get Banshee into the mix as well on my next go. So for now, though, you have to wait because I forgot I haven't done his turn yet. So he will scheme for one, 
he will then attack me with a boost of two. So he'll hit me for four damage. Uh, that knocks me down to three health. Uh, I need to flip to the other side. So here, five. Oh, you can use this psionic bond power of phoenixes to remove one of these and give yourself a wild resource. Did not realise that. That could have been handy. So I will do that now. But I'll drop this to... to oh no, I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. I haven't taken my card. I have a minion. Minion does no scheme and one attack. It's worth uh, three health. If Marble Girl attacks the minion, you move extra from the main scheme where X is the minion's print scheme. But he's got no scheme, so it's a bit of a waste of time. He's got three health and he does one attack. So I don't like minions. They're annoying and they slowly chip away at you. Um, so I just really want to kill him off. I'm potentially going to try and keep this. Spend one of the psionic resources to knock, knock out, get Banshee in the mix as well. Um, I want to try and get some damage on Rhino, but I think I need to get rid of the minion first, which is annoying. Uh, when Marvel Girl attacks the minion, doesn't really do a lot. Um, I can do one attack to do one damage to him. Two attack to kill him off. Um, and Marvel Girl can attack Rhino for one. So even though we've got two minions out, we're not really wrecking shop at the minute. Um, she should have had two consequential so far. He should have one now for that. Um, and then we can have not a lot left, but we've still got this card in hand, so we need to draw back up to five. So one, two, three, four. So we've got an upgrade for mental paralysis, which gives hero form only attached to a non-elite minion. Attached minion can't activate. Uh, we've got another one of the swift retribution cards. So we've actually got two of them. So we could do that and then get rid of a lot of thwarts and try and damage him and kill him off a bit like that. Telepathic Trickery, remove 4 threat from a scheme if you have Unleashed Trait, Stun and Confuse an Enemy. We do not have that, so... Uh, yeah, not too bad. Then we have to restand all of these guys. Um, Marble Girl still got quite a good bit of health. Um, Banshee's not doing too badly. He's going to thwart, attack me for some stuff, but I might have to block out... Um, Marvel Girl's got like really bad attack, so I want to block with her. She's going to block. He's doing an attack of 2 plus nothing. So she's still alive. Gives us 4 health, but she's exhausted for next round. Um, then we've got a card coming out. Uh, Treachery. When revealed in hero form, Rhino attacks you. If a character is damaged by the attack, that character is stunned. His attack is two, and I cannot take the attack if he scores more than three. I need to block it out, which is annoying because the Banshee's my main guy for attack. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's really annoying. If it's anything more than two, she's dead, so I need to block it out with Banshee. So I'm going to block the Banshee. Attack of two plus one, which is three, which would have killed me. I had to do that. Uh, sorry, Banshee, you are dead. Annoyingly for me. Um, but that was all I could do to stay alive. I can then do... I can't use that anymore. I, can... I should have kept the level 3 card before that I had that would re-heal me and put me into Unleashed form. But I didn't, because I'm a plonker. So... That's where I've made a few mistakes here on this deck already. The damage is really difficult to get out because I'm not in Unleashed form. I've got to kill off the ally that did the most damage. I should have maybe got Scott in as well. 
Um, but you can see from that what I've learned already. It's quite useful to look at what you're doing and think actually that's where I've gone wrong. She's a quite a powerful character, but I've just not played her very well. Um, this now is not really brilliant unless I can get another ally out. Um, so I'm going to struggle to get any damage done. She's already knocked out. The Phoenix has got three thwarts, so I can do that. Um, so I'm going to pay for one of these with this because I haven't got I haven't got any allies to put that on. And then that'll do four damage to him, and he will scheme. So he goes from twelve to eight. Somewhere. Um. And he will scheme for one. That's not too bad actually. That's quite. I haven't got any minions out, so I don't need that. Remove four threat from scheme. If you have the unleashed trait, you can stun and confuse, but I don't have the unleashed trait. So I don't really need that either. Um so I'll pay for now this and this to get him to scheme again. And do four damage, knocking him to four. They're a quite nice cards actually. Better than I realised, so I most probably should have used the other one before as well and he'd be dead and on to level 2. Um, and now we've got one telepathic trickery card left in hand that I cannot use. Um, Phoenix can attack for 1 or I can just thwart for 3. Seems a sensible thing to do for now to make sure we don't lose the level overall. Um, and I should flip to her alter ego form because I need to recover with her next time. So I've not been playing her brilliantly. I need to do more stuff of spending these to get onto the attack side. I needed to keep that level three card before, but um, it's in the deck somewhere, where is it? Not that one. This, when you would be defeated, remove the card from the game, ready your identity and restore it to its printed hit point value instead. Then you remove each power count from Phoenix Force. So that would have allowed me to not die Use this upgrade and flip it to Unleashed. Which then gives you minus two thwart but plus two attack. So you're back alive and you get extra attack. But after power count as a police you've got to get to four or more before you can flip this back to regular side. Where you've got restrained and stuff. So I should have kept that but I didn't. So no point crying over spilt milk. That is all I can do. I could spend Cerebro to look through the top five cards in my deck, or the deck actually, and then shuffle and see what X-Men I can do. I have the mutant trait, I'm on Jean Grey side, so I can find an ally in my hand. Cyclops I think might be the best choice because he's a three cost card. Um, I want to have him added to my hand, uh, but I can't actually use him yet because... I have a card, and then we've got it says shuffle, so I need to shuffle the decks back together. So hopefully I can get that level three card back um, and do this. This seems a bit overpowered, the Cerebro, so I'm going to look it up and see if you can keep doing this and shuffle in your deck, because otherwise a deck will never run out, which is fantastic, but it seems quite overpowered. Um, seems really good. Normally you get extra uh, disadvantage when you run through your deck, but if you've got Cerebro, you can just keep looking for a hand and shuffling. Get your deck back. So maybe I'm playing that wrong. I'll double check. Uh, but I do want to get him out. He looks like he'll be quite useful. So we'll draw back up to six cards now because we're in our alter ego form. So we've got Passion for Justice as well, which is when you spend this to play a thwart event, that event removes an extra threat. Psychic manipulation when the villain schemes, this activation removes threat instead of placing it. Not a massive scheme or rhino, but we'll see. Telepathic trickery, we've got two of these now. So remove four threat from the scheme, and if you're unleashed, you get to stun and confuse. Telekinetic attack deals seven damage to an enemy. If you have the unleashed trait, the attack gains two additional damage and gains overkill. So he's only got four health left. I think I want to get to unleashed and then try and smash him to bits with my uh, people. And then also get Cyclops into play, maybe. Um, but I cannot do it straight away. So it's there. His turn to scheme for one. I need to stop banging my head on the camera. Is he will scheme for one? He will then scheme for one plus two, which is three. 
I think it's the five and it can only go to seven. So we need to sort that out. She should have restood. Um, did she? Yeah, she should have restood because she defended the last attack. Um, which I didn't realise I could have thwarted with her. Might have been a good thing to do. Uh, yeah, she's only got one health left. So I would have thwarted with her knocking that by three. So that's back to three. She's dead. She's go. This got vital. Um, and then we've got to try and uh, take on another card. Treachery. I'm in Alter Ego, so it gets Surge. Next card. Oh, Minion. When revealed, deal one damage to each hero. So she is one down to two. Shocker, he's got three health, so he's not ridiculously strong. Um, Jean Grey should have been refreshed. Um, Cerebro should be standing now as well, so it's my go. Um, I need to recover, so I need three extra health. So I've got to put extra counter on here. And I could do with recovering again, if I can. Um, so I need to try and get Cyclops into play. Uh, it'll give me two things though, which I don't really want yet. I want to try and damage him and kill him. I don't want to spend the seven attack because it'll be a waste of damage. I don't need these removed four threats really, but I, there is three at the minute, so it might be needed soon. Uh, I'm going to schemes. So that's three costs. That's too expensive. I'm not uh, keeping that. Spending that, that, and the uh, this as well maybe. I'll keep the Passion for Justice in case I want it for a thwart. I will get Cyclops out. I will keep the Telekinetic Attack as well. Because I don't have enough cards to pay for it right now. That should have soon. He ends his play giving me two extra counters on here. Um, he's good for a bit of attack. So I can attack Shocker or I can attack Rhino. I think I need to attack... Hmm, don't know, it's tricky. Depends what cards I get next, really. Um, I think I should really attack Shocker and try and knock him out, because he's going to do attack and scheme. Oh, I can't stay on this side. It's going to kill me. I'm going to have to flip Jean Grey over, because I need... can't take a scheme off him, a scheme off him. The scheme at the start plus his extra scheme for being an alter ego. So I've got a flip back to hero form. No, I mean I'll get an attack. Cyclops will uh, attack someone. Don't know who, but someone. Um, attack Shocker for now and see what I can do. Um, I can spend something as a wild, but it still won't. Give me enough to do either of these. If I could have done this, I could have done overkill. I could have killed him and him in one shot. So, thinking back on it, I should have changed my plan. I didn't mend on the fly well enough there. I could have overkilled him and then killed the Rhino at the same time with this one card. But now I'm too short on uh, resources. So I'm going to have to do this. Restand these guys. Cyclops gets one. Consequential. Four. Five. Oh. Another Passion for Justice card. Oh, and I have got the Rise from the Ashes card, so if I die, I can come back to life. I'm keeping all of that. It's a brilliant card. I need that to wipe me out and get me into more damage mode. So I can just rip through him. Because he's doing my thing. Um, and then it's his turn. He'll scheme for one. He will attack me for two plus nothing, thank God. So that is... Three shocker will attack for two. So I can either kill off Cyclops or I can let him get me to one and then try and get let the next the guy get me down and use this as a attack. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for him taking the damage to Phoenix, allow Phoenix to die so I can get into more attack so that Cyclops doesn't die. Then it's my go. With Phoenix, I'm gonna kill off Shocker. So for that's him dead. 
with Cyclops, I'm going to attack for two onto uh, Rhino, knocking him down to two. Then I've got not a lot I can actually do. I want to thwart here, play on if you identify as the X Men trait I do. Exhaust your hero and any number of allies. I remove X threats from schemes among us, play where X is the total of those threats. I can't actually exhaust anyone because they've all both been exhausted. Um, I can look through my deck for an ally to add and potentially spend these three on that and one of these. So I could get a four cost ally into play if I can get an ally. I've got Banshee, so I'm going to pay for Banshee with one of these. Um, uh, these three. Uh, and then I'm going to shuffle my cards. Keep these three. Now I've got Banshee out. After Banshee thwarts, you get to confuse a minion. There's no minions there. But I can use Banshee to attack Rhino and kill him off. That Cerebro card is amazing. Um, he's going to attack for two, knocking Rhino down to zero. Right, we're back into the game. Luckily, it's not on hard mode or expert because we would have been dead by now. Been way too um, silly with my choices and not really used to the character. But we've managed to pull it around, I think. Uh, we're on a good, good steady uh, setting right now. Um, if I flip these all back up. These are ready to fight. We've got some allies ready. Not quite dead. I need another three cards. Phoenix is about to die, but I've got to pay for her card. Um, if she does. And that's not a big deal. I can go for that. Um, when Rhino level two uh, comes into play, he looks for the breaking and taking side scheme. I'm not sure if it's been out yet. Um, I don't think it has in these cards. And then you reveal it and shuffle in counter deck. So I need to find that card. Uh, bomb scare. No. Hold on something. There we go. Breaking and taking side scheme. So this gives you an extra card. And it's worth two threat. So it's actually quite easy to get rid of. That's going to go straight away. I'm not having an extra encounter card. I hate extra encounter cards. It, can be an absolute nightmare, especially in some of the campaigns. So that's not going to happen. Um, so he's done that. It's his turn to... You know, well, I will get an extra counter card now. Because I didn't realise that that was out. Should have been out. Annoying. And an extra one for each thingy. So Phoenix has got three thwarts. So I can hopefully take that away. But I don't want her to die now because she'll lose the three thwart. That's annoying. So I'm going to have to let her die the next round. And sacrifice maybe Cyclops because he's nearly dead. So one extra attack on threat on here. I'm going to attack Cyclops from two. Well, Cyclops is going to defend for Phoenix. So he's dead. Sorry Cyclops, you're dead. Um, and then we're still alive. This should have been restarted. Um, So then we've got um, a encounter, two encounter cards. First one is Treachery, when give Rhino a tough status card when revealed. So get him a bit more toughness. He loves being tough. And then I've got my obligation. You may flip to alter ego form, choose to either exhaust Penny Parker and remove inherited burden from the game or choose and discard one interface upgrade you control. Um, I don't seem to have any interface upgrades. Uh, that's permanent, it can't be gone. Uh, I don't even know what an interface upgrade is, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if this Phoenix suit counts as an integrate interface upgrade. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the other cards. This is another upgrade, it doesn't say. That's an upgrade that just says condition. I want to see what integrate... Up, up, so I'm going to reshuffle these once I've had a look. Because I don't know what... That is, with it being a new game, it's not such a big deal. Telekinetic Shield says Psionic, doesn't say Integrade. Training, training. So, Upgrade, Mind Control, Conditional, Psionic. Doesn't say Integrade, or Interface even. Uh, I can't even see anything with Interface written on it. Training Mission, 
uh, upgrade mental. So interface doesn't really get mentioned. So I'm assuming it means any upgrade of Phoenix's that's to do with her deck. So I'm not going to flip over because I need the three thwart to help me out now. Uh, I'm going to uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of this upgrade. So, well, what would you do? Choosing discard one. And, yes, it's in discard now. Upgrade your control. Discard this obligation. Yeah, okay, so that's gone. Um, that's a bit annoying, but not massive. We need to get rid of some of the threats there and there, because otherwise he's going to be wailing on us. He's, I forgot to put his health back to 16, so... He's at 16 for second level. We've still got a big hitter there. We've still got if we die there. We want to not die yet. We want to clear that three threat from breaking and taking. Then we want to threat clear with Banshee as well. So three threat from that. Or maybe actually. Maybe not. That's what the cards are. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five threat there. So I could get him to scheme and do four damage. Then remove some threat. Well, this card deals four damage to the villain. If you have unleashed trait, it deals four damage to each minion as well. That's really cool. But I don't have any minions in play at the minute. Um, so I could get the seven damage on him now, or I could wait till I'm in my unleashed form and try and get these to give it nine damage. I don't see the point in waiting because I'll be able to get extra damage as we go. Hopefully. Um, play under any one player's control, you get recovery plus two. So that might be useful to have soon. These do extra damage. I can't really afford loads of extra threat right now because I don't have a lot of threat removal. Other than Banshee, you can take four off maybe overall. But I'm going to go with that. I'm going to have a pay one of these to spend to get that done as well. I'm going to do four damage and take a scheme. So one scheme gives it six. It's a bit risky, but I'm going for it. Uh, I'm going to give extra recovery to Phoenix. I'm going to be in this turn. I'm going to thwart with Banshee. I should knock it to four and give him one extra. Um, and then I've still got these two really powerful cards. Hopefully when we die in a minute. And that should be nice for us, hopefully. Uh, start of his turn, we will refresh. Oh, actually, I haven't searched for an ally. Searching for ally seems like I'm doing this wrong. So if I am, I'll check afterwards. I want to find Storm. No, she's too expensive. Anyone else? Let's see who else I've got. I want someone a bit cheaper. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go, Marvel Girl. I'll have her in hand. She seems good. And then I'll shuffle these all back together. So she's quite handy for threat as well. If I can get her out, she'd be quite good to have. Uh, but I can't use her right now. These should be restored. So that gives me three cards in hand already. And she's only got five in this deck. So I've got the Phoenix Firebird and I've got Storm out again. So Storm can as well be used as to go in the bin, she's way too expensive. And someone thought the scheme moved too far from that scheme to another scheme. I don't really want to, this should have gone as well. I forgot to put it in. So discard. And then we've got Rhino scheming for one, taking him to five. Then we've got him um, attacking Phoenix for, I have to spend these to for Phoenix pretty much. That, that and attacking Phoenix or whatever plus a bonus boost of two. So he was doing four damage. So Phoenix is dead. I'm gonna pay this card, this card and hmm. so I can actually spend one of these to keep the to keep the hero. Uh, Marvel girl hero and that will knock me down uh, oh I should have lost two of these as well when what's his name went but either way we're going to lose two and I'm going to spend to buy this 
upgrade, which means when I would be defeated, remove it from the game. Um, and the ready the identity, restore it to its printed hit points. So it should be on nine for Phoenix. He's back to full health. Uh, remove each power counter from Phoenix Four. So when there's none here, it has to flip. So I'm now officially in an unleashed mode, where I get minus two thwart but plus two attack. I need to get after power counter placed here. If there's four or more, it flips back over. So now I've got three attack but only one thwart. I still have Banshee there, which is nice, and I've got to take my thingy. So he's got a Hydra minion, which is worth three damage. I can kill him off in one shot, really. Um, and I still have this attack, but I don't have enough resources to do it. Um, so I'm going to have to try and find another ally and see if there's any way I can get anything with them. But I need to get rid of the toughness anyway. So I might as well attack with Phoenix now that she's ready to kill off the mercenary. Attack with Banshee, which will kill Banshee. But... He will then go and the tough card will go. Now we've got some good cards for next round to do that, but we'll search with Cerebro for finding any other allies. Um, the only one I can see on the bottom is Cyclops, so I'll take Cyclops into hand. Um, I get to shuffle then these back into the cards deck. Um, but it's not fantastic. I don't get to get any more cards yet until the end of my turn. I can't actually do anything else because I don't have any power counters to spend to pay as a wild resource. So I've got three three cards but only enough to pay for a two card at the moment. So I will now draw, finish my turn, these will restand. Draw back up to, oh nice, I've got a double energy, and an upgrade which I can put on an ally, which is plus one thwart and plus two HP, so Cyclops does two extra damage, so I can hopefully get him out, get extra damage on him, I'm going to get him out with these two, get an extra two hit points on him, and then do this maybe, or I can send it to do this save these cards to put Cyclops out next time. Hmm. Cyclops will give me the force thing to pay to get stuff though, so I think it's actually worthwhile doing that now. Um, for next round anyway. Uh, he will scheme for one. I really need to thwart. He will then attack for two plus, no three plus one, which is four. So that knocks me to five is more than I realised, but I do now have Retaliate plus Recover plus 2, so I can get 5 extra on there. Um, I can also kind of guarantee a good bit of damage soon, I need 9 on him there, which will leave him with 7. I can get 3 off him this round, then I can get Scott Summers out to thwart a little bit to help me keep that in check, because um, none of these other little cards do a lot of thwart. Marvel Girl does, but this brings it the other stuff in that I want. So I'm going to get my, I think, Treachery. Give Rhino a tough status card if he's already got one surge. He hasn't, so he gets a toughness. And then this doesn't give PS, it only gives overkill. So this telekinetic, telekinetic attack does overkill, not PS, which is annoying. So I need it to do stuff. But I need to get rid of these to be able to do Cyclops out. I've got Cyclops out, I need him to thwart to get rid of two of these to knock it to four. Um, otherwise he's going to die. Um, I can then put, because Cyclops came out, I get two of these. I can spend one of these to pay for this training module to go out. So Cyclops gets one more thwart and two hit points. So if he thwarts next time, he'll thwart for three, which is good. He should have taken one consequential as well. Um, I can now search my deck again for another card if I want to, but I don't think I need to. Um, I'm trying to think what I could do. If I can get a cheap card, I could maybe put him out. Um, I'll spend it and do, but I think Banshee's four. 
I can search for anyone, so Banshee Storm, or who else is in the deck? That's it, Banshee's a four cost, and I think it's... Um, I'm going to have to take it now that I've done it, so I'll do that. Let's shuffle these back into the deck. Um, and then we've got, we've got the Telekinetic Attack for nine damage. I think we need to really get that out next turn. Um, I don't really want to do one down the Attack with Phoenix now to get tough status. Um, that's a bit annoying. Let's do... Good Alter Ego is getting at least one. Two scheme plus boost, which could go to seven. So I don't want it to be over that way either. So about the only thing I can do is attack him and take the toughness off, and then get it ready for next round. So it's gone. Um, so he's been attacked for three, but no, nothing good really. Uh, end of turn, return these to refresh them. Um, Cyclops is ready. These have got four on. Um, and then we need to take a threat on there, knock it to five. These can go attack Phoenix for plus two onto the three, which is five. And that's killed us off. That's really annoying. Didn't expect, expect it to be a five damage attack coming in. I could have blocked the Cyclops, but I didn't think it would be that much. Normally isn't that strong, but I forgot his power had gone up to three. So because it's a training game, I'm going to just carry on going because I want to learn the character a bit more. I'm going to pretend I block with Cyclops and Cyclops is dead. I'm going to, normally I wouldn't do that, but because I'm training and trying to learn a character, I'm going to see how it goes and see what else I can do with Phoenix. Um, and if there's anything else that helps me. Um, she's got... Should have got cards as well so if i had any cards in my hand i could have maybe interrupted i didn't have any interrupts so i couldn't but we'll carry on anyway um i'm gonna play the telekinetic attack because i want to uh, i've got plus two recovery already not doing that i can spend one of these to do that nine damage attack so he hasn't got anything on him at the minute oh i should have taken a thing as well Hydra minion is worth two damage. So he's taken this as an attack for nine, but with overkill, so he's gonna take two to kill him. And he's getting seven damage, so he's down to nine health. It's gone completely the wrong way there with the counter because I'm a plunk it. Um then we've got nine health left on him, five health left on Phoenix. Um I should have drawn I did draw back up, I spent those cards with the telekinetic attack, didn't I? This can't really be done to do anything. I need to get a search through the deck to try and find a hero that can be paid for in two. I don't think there is any. Uh, I don't think he's got an ally even in this deck. I mean, that's worth two. I've got Storm. Uh, I've got Marvel Girl is worth three. And I've already spent all the tokens for three things. So I can't even upgrade. So I'd have to take Marvel Girl. And then... Um, I can just attack with Phoenix, who's going to do 3 damage, knocking him to 6. Um, if I can stay alive, I can do stuff, but I haven't got any interrupts as yet. I'll take 2 cards, because then end of my turn. Damage 4 to the villain, and take a scheme, and add an upgrade to an ally, but these can refresh. Um... He's going to scheme for one. One more scheme there, it's dead. He's going to attack me for three plus one, which is four. I am on one health. If he attacks again, I'm dead. Um, and then take a card. And in hero form, Rhino attacks you. If a character is damaged by this attack, the character is stunned. Not just stunned, it's dead. Deaded, deaded, deaded. So I didn't play that brilliantly well. Um, I didn't think it through very well. I didn't know exactly what I was doing with her as a character. Actually, I think she's really fun, and I think she's really got some good damage in there. I think maybe the deck needs a little bit more um, allies who are cheaper. If you can get these allies out with Cerebra like I was doing, I think I was playing quite a good game there with that. That's a great idea. But some of the other stuff I was a bit wobbly with. So I actually think she's a really fun character, and I might, I might play her with the campaign because I think she'd be really cool to learn and get better with. And it's interesting to play her deck. She's really cool. 
Um, let me know what you think about her. Um, do you think she's good? Do you think she's bad? I've lost there by a few points, but she was only a couple of attacks away. Get one of these guys out. I could have nearly got killed. I've done this four damage and um, get it to scheme. I could have killed it maybe. Um, but maybe not actually because it would have done... Oh yeah, if I had the Unleashed trait, I could have done four damage there with that for two. That would have killed it for four and that would have done it for three. So we were like right on the edge. But I did make a lot of silly decisions early on due to a lack of familiarity. But really enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel please. Thanks for watching.